nickname, the Phoenix, and the way she rose to her weight loss challenge, highly commendable and looking to okay, look rise to the bar. challenge here, although Zip 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 looking Zip for the Zip belly down armbar. She gets it, and just like that, Katzengano moves to 2-0. and oh. There's a lot of pressure on the elbow at that point. Once that leg, you watch her knee come up towards the neck area of Olivia Parker. She's got a lot of pressure on that arm. You see that tapping. And now Chick Congo looking perhaps for his fourth submission. Has a rear naked choke victory on his resume. Garitano's going to probably make it through this round. But will he make it to the third? Congo's put out a lot of energy, Moro. And he's looking for the rear naked. Let's take a look at the end of this round. You see Congo here. He's got the back. He's squeezing. He doesn't have the legs. But that squeeze and the fact that Karatonov was tired was enough to get him to tap. Oh, that's him right, again. right off the back of the ear. And immediately Aiden Lee flies in, has the back. He's got that arm trap. Now it's not, but... He, that is deep right now. Ostrov, he's going to go out. Ostrov taps. Look at how accurate he was. Watch the shots. Nothing. That's the one that hurt him right there. You see it. You can see his legs go out. Little push by Aiden Lee. And then right away, once he gets it back, he sees, he feels that arm go around. He says, oh, this is a good idea. I'm going to stick with this. You see, Ostrov was trying to get rid of the leg. As soon as that hook got back in, he was in trouble. Minute and a half left in the second round. And it's Campbell steadfastly attacking the lead leg. And doesn't, well, there's a right uppercut that dropped Corrales. A right uppercut on the inside. And now Campbell going to full mount, wanting to put the finishing touches on this barrage on OK Corrales. That was a big shot that Johnny Campbell landed. Hammer fist now has Corrales back. Getting his hooks in, John, and now it's Cor Campbell looking for potentially his eighth submission win. Yeah, like I said, when you're seeing a fighter have both of his hands. And there it is! You got Johnny Cupcakes Campbell wins his Bellator MMA debut in scintillating fashion. Oh, he's got reason to go. That was a big win. That nice uppercut right there. That's what started the downfall. I mean, we talked about you don't put your hands down, but when you are a hurt fighter, you make mistakes. Henry Corrales made the mistake having both hands down on the mat. You see Johnny get that rear naked choke, yep. palm to palm, yep. a lot of power on it, he gets the tap out. He changed position, get his arm free, which he did. As a kid, you're used to getting birthday bumps. Well, it's uh, Gusto who celebrated his birthday on Sunday with giving Wilson all the bumps. Under 30 seconds left here in the opening round. Again, going after the arm triangle, he's set up in that position. He wants to come off to the other side. Beautiful positioning now that he just got his white air. Now when he gets his whole body here, he can put a lot of pressure down. Looking for a second submission in his last three fights. Johnny Wilson. And there's the tap. And Augusto picks up another finish. And just mentally strong way of dismantling your opponent. Then getting into this arm triangle or head and arm choke. A lot of people are going to say it different ways. But this is tight. And you see him using that leg to create that distance, keeping that angle. There's a lot of pressure on that choke. Beautiful submission victory. Drops another left. McCord active on the bottom, but eating these shots. Yeah, McCord is not reacting the way you, you want to see. Right now, she's starting to cover in this position. You can't cover. Start to move your body. Make it to where she cannot hit you based upon your body position. McCord was stopped in her professional debut due to strikes, has won four in a row since. Oh, beautiful up kick by Lee McCord. That landed. And of course, now the up kick leading into a potential triangle choke here by McCord. Of course, we remember our current middleweight champion, Gegard Mousasi, with his up kick on Jacare in Japan. But McCord here with midway through the second has Harding in trouble. Yeah, the, right now, she just locked up the, that triangle. It's not quite tight right now as far as there is space, but we'll see if Janae Harding, Harding has enough to be able to stay with it. In trouble, there's the tap 
open just like that. Liam McCourt comes back to submit Janae Harding. Liam McCourt pulls out the dramatic submission win, moving to a perfect 4-0 in Bellator MMA. But watch this. Boom. That shot right there, that hurt Janae Harding. And you see right away, watch that foot coming up. You can see how hard it hit Janae Harding. That was a big shot at the downfall. When you see her now pull her over, now it's getting tight. She's going towards the head, gets the tap. Beautiful submission, come from behind win for Liam McCourt. A minute gone here in the second round and Bates all over Glosner. I, you know, does it beg asking about the weight cut and everything? I mean, Bates just came out of House of Fire and it just seemed like he didn't give Glosner any opportunity. Well, he's, he's really cranking on this neck right now. Glosner has got that. He's looking towards a Japanese necktie. I don't know if he's going to be able to get it. Yeah. Oh, he gets right. it. Ah! This is a neck crank right here. And what he's doing is he's putting pressure on that neck. Look at, look at the bend of the neck, Marl. You can see how much pressure. And there's also that arm in there putting pressure down on the esophagus, on the throat area, hard to breathe. It is not a good position. You can see how that arm, he's using his body to push the head down into his arm. Very, very painful crank. That's a gorgeous win by Jalon Bates. Where his arms are at right now is not doing that. That's why you're seeing Angrixis be able to put up with that pressure. Nice Kamura. Yeah, that's it. So hard to express how good a fighter someone like Julius Angrixis is. And when you see someone dominate him in the fight, beautiful job of finally getting that. Notice the separation of the head from that shoulder area. That's what makes it painful. Great Kamura victory. Is up, she can't swing her arm out. Now she's rolling for a leg lock. Jessica is staying safe. She's in a position right now. She's not good, good. When, yeah. you, when you have that leg in the position that she has. She's looking, she was looking towards an inverted heel hook. Kashkova needs to make sure she doesn't allow that leg to extend out. Right now, she can just. Use her legs to extend out away. She's looking for the heel hook. Going for it. Chaskova had never been submitted in a seven year pro career. Look at the beautiful lock, yep. control of the leg, goes for that heel hook. And once that, it doesn't hurt in the beginning, but once that is, that leg is getting twisted, that knee is going to get torn apart. Beautiful submission win. Chris Cyborg, the defending featherweight champion, giving flowers to Aaron Pico. He is turning in a monster performance, and now again, looking for the Anaconda choke. He might get it now, just based upon Aiden Lee being tired. And Aiden Lee forced the tap! Puts himself right back into the Anaconda, and this time, based upon all of the damage that he has done, and the effort, it's too much. He has to tap out. Fisher told us that he felt his biggest advantage would be speed, changes levels, but gets his neck snatched by Johnson. Nice switch over, take a look at where he's going to. All the way in there, that's deep on that Darce. Smooth Darce choke by Dwayne Johnson, and even Dwayne The Rock Johnson has to be impressed what he just did. Nice snap down, pulls him down, and immediately decides where he's going to go with it. Switches into that ratchet position of the darts, grabs on. Beautiful positioning, nice 